Good afternoon, Thrifty Adventurers. Laura here. Figured I would pop in for another quick little video. Um, and today I am going to go over 10 items that you wouldn't normally um, look at. Um, they're all pretty much smalls, um, is what we call it in our thrifty world. Um, and why not broaden your horizons? Um, I always say it's great to know a little bit about a lot. Um, so let's jump into the 10 items. So first is a Limax Fire When Ready item. And I'm sure a lot of people know to look out for Limax. Um, they have a lot of spooky townhouses is um, a big one is the spooky town collection. And the houses are normally very sought after, especially when they get retired. Um, but this is a small piece, just like a little accessory. Um, and so not a lot of people look at those little accessories. I don't think that they go for a lot. But I found a little baggie at Savers, and it had two little accessories in them. Um, and... I got them for uh, $3, so $1.50 each, and one sold for $12.95, so nothing huge, but they sold immediately to the same person, and the other one, this one, was Fire When Ready, it is retired, and it sold for $44.95, full price, so keep a lookout for the small pieces too, some of the accessories can do really well for you. Next are some Disney disc ornaments, and they're small. They're just small um, disc size ornaments. These came in a box. I got them at an estate sale um, and everybody was going right past them. They always go for the big ticket items at the estate sales, which are great. Um, but I always look for those small things that people aren't looking for because you can really make some good money off of those items. And these I got for $27. They were $3 each, and this was a lot of nine, and I got a whole box of disc ornaments. These ones I um, lotted together since they were the same, and they sold for 66 So I think they were listed for maybe a week, not too long. Um, so look out for, I, I wouldn't buy just one disc ornament, but if you can get a set of them, absolutely get them. Um, next was a... Uh, flag, a Mickey Mouse flag. Now this one was a Bradford Exchange flag. It was Bradford Exchange or Hamilton collection. I can't remember. Um, but it was one of those companies that make all those limited edition fun things. Um, and I got, I don't know, probably like 35 of these. Once again, at the same estate sale that everybody was looking at the big ticket stuff and um, this flag was a 4th of July flag they're all limited edition they were all new in its package um, and once again I spent three dollars each on them and this one sold for 35 I've sold a bunch of these flags I've probably sold at least I'm trying to think at least five to ten of them already um, for thirty dollars and above so look out for these. And even the ones that aren't the Hamilton Collection or Bradford Exchange ones, just regular garden flags, you could still probably get um, 15 to 25 for, so depending on the graphic. So make sure you're looking out for these things because they normally sell really cheap. People um, don't uh, price them high. So look out for these items. Next was a Buyer's Choice Caroler. And if you know about Buyer's Choice, then obviously you know um, to look out for these, but not everybody knows about Buyer's Choice. And I wanted to put this in here because this was actually um, how I got started. I bought a huge Buyer's Choice collection at an auction and I was scared to death because I spent tons of money and they sell really well and they sell um, fast and you can normally get a good amount for them. So they're made in, I think it's Pennsylvania and they're all hand done and it's got a huge following so this one I bought at an auction for five dollars and it sold for forty um, they'll normally always have that same green band and 
have uh, buyer's choice written underneath it. So make sure they say that so there are a little bit, not knockoffs, but ones that look similar. Um, they're not trying to counterfeit or anything, but it's just uh, some knockoff brands. So make sure you see the buyer's choice at the bottom of them. Um, but look out for those for sure. Next was a plush. Um, this was Chicken Little. I have strayed away a lot from plush, but you still want to look out for the rare characters. Um, Chicken Little is not, you don't see it very often. I got this for $2. Um, and it sold pretty fast for $28.66. So you want to look out for those odd characters that you don't see that often. Um, at least look it up is all I can say. Um, yeah, next uh, was a mask. So this was a Halloween mask. Uh, so Halloween, we all know sells, right? Um, people love Halloween. People love decorating for Halloween. But... You also want to make sure you're looking at masks. Um, they don't all do well, but uh, I think this was a Paper Magic was the brand. Um, and some of them go for a lot of money, so you always want to look out. And the brand of it is normally imprinted on the um, bottom part of the mask. So look out for that. This one was a Stone Cold Steve Austin one. I got it for $3 at an auction, and it sold for $35. And there was actually two in the box, and I sold um, both of them. Um, tons of people go to this auction. You always want to look for the, the small things that people aren't looking for. At least that's how I feel. Everybody always looks at the big ticket item, which is fine, and I look at them too. But so many people overlook all those smalls. Um, and that's where I make a lot of my money. That's what I sell a lot of. Um, so look out for those. Next was a vintage Ken Brown t-shirt. And the reason why I have this on here, because we all know vintage t-shirts sell, but a lot of people only look out for the, the characters or the concert shirts or things uh, of sports shirts, you know, things like that. This one just had little skeletons on it in all different positions. And... Um, it's a Ken Brown, and it had the year, and it was single stitch. And when I say single stitch, on the sleeve of the t-shirt, instead of there being two lines of stitching, uh, most of the vintage 90s ones only have one line of stitching. So you always want to make sure you put single stitch. Um, and sometimes I just walk down the aisle, and I just look at the arms, and just look at the stitching. If I just don't feel like actually looking through all the t-shirts, just to see if I can find that vintage one. Um, but... It doesn't always have to have that character is my point here. It doesn't always have to have that um, the big draw, the concerts, or anything like that. It can just be a regular design. Um, so if you can get them cheap, grab it. Um, I got it for $4, and it sold for $50. I don't remember if I said that at the beginning. Next was a robe. I love vintage sleepwear. I don't know if you guys look at um, pajamas, but if you don't, you should. This strap is driving me crazy, guys. Sorry, I keep pulling at it as I'm going in the video. All right. Anyways, keep on moving. So, um, pajamas. Make sure you're looking at pajamas. I look at them on the state sales. I look at them at the stores. They're normally priced really cheap. Um, and this was just a JCPenney brand. Nothing um, that fancy about that. But it was a nice, older style robe. Um, it cost me only $3, and it sold for $40.96 on Etsy. Uh, two more. Number eight was a 101 Dalmatian wreath. So this was from the 90s. This was, it's kind of like a puffy... I don't want to say felt, but a puffy cloth. Um, and I find a lot of these items at estate sales. And they're normally priced super cheap. Because people don't look at the Christmas stuff or these types of Christmas stuff. Stockings and things. Always look at that stuff. Um, so I got this for $3. It didn't sell for tons. I'm not going to become a millionaire off of it. But it sold for $20.46 within just a couple days. Um, some will sell for more. It depends on the character and style of the item. Um, but I got a whole bunch of them for super cheap. They're easy to list, easy to ship. Make that $15 all day long. 
Um, and last but not least was a Garfield sleeping bag. If you're not looking at bedding and sheets and sleeping bags, you are missing out. There is so much money to be made in that area. So this was a Garfield cap, excuse me, sleeping bag. And I got it for $5. It sold for $40.96. Um, once again, easy to ship. Don't have to worry about it breaking. Um, you want to make sure you're looking for these. Other people are not. For the most part, people are not looking in these um, areas. So um, make sure you are. Don't miss out on these items. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope it opened your eyes to a couple of different categories um, and areas that you could be looking at. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm going to try to do these more often because I think they're fun and um, I like opening people's eyes up to other things that they might not know about. So um, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I will talk with you soon. Go have yourself a thrifty adventure. Bye-bye.